Welcome to WXTV, your online source for weatherization training. This is another part of our mobile home series where we'll cover blowing insulation into the belly of a home. We're back with Cal Steiner's crews in North Dakota and we'll take a look at several different methods for accessing the belly to blow that insulation in. There's quite a few methods of gaining access to the belly itself. Uh, and this, uh, our, our, hi pooch, <laughs> our postman. <laughs> One of our better ways of doing this is when the actually uh, the sill or the rim joist is, if we take a piece off here, it's exposed. This particular mobile home, the siding goes all the way down past the rim joist. We have several options at this point. We can drill right through here and put a board over it or some hardy plank or cement board to cover it up. But uh, another option that's actually even a little bit better to expose this silk or rim joist in here is to cut this at this point. We'll expose the rim joist, we'll drill through it, and then we will actually take another piece of Z-channel similar to this and stick it behind here and over it and then secure this back in after we've drilled our holes and, uh, and insulated our belly. Uh, so we'll just continue now and we will we'll use a... Uh, nibbler to cut this off about six inches up. One important tool is this extension right here that fits onto the bit. Keeps uh, his hands and everything away from the mobile home itself. Makes it a little bit easier to uh, operate the uh, drill. You can get them in six inches, a foot, 18 inches. Uh, use whichever one's appropriate. Okay, let's go ahead. At this point, we'd normally go ahead and we would uh, insulate our cavity with our fiberglass. And when we're done, the way we would seal this access point up is we'd take this piece We'd put it back and we'd put a Z channel underneath here that comes from underneath here over and covers up the piece we're going to put back. And when we're done, it should look very similar to this right here. Much easier way than drilling through this here. Uh, the other technique for getting a home like this, you could go underneath and insulate from the belly itself. Uh, but that's for another day. This, most of the time uh, on a regular side blow like this here, you got the the uh, tin running around here. Take off your screws, lift it up. We just bend it up out of, out, of the, out of the way. Come in here, drill a hole with your two and a half inch hole uh, with the whole hog bit. On a clutch drill, you always want to use a clutch drill uh, as it will ruin the drill end or your shoulder or wrist or something. Uh, we basically then uh, stick the pipe in as you, as you can see, these yellow marks on the pipe are the water lines where we don't want to blow. So what he'll do is he'll stick that pipe in all the way across to the other side, uh, start filling up the outer wing, pull back to the yellow tape and uh, until his yellow tape shows and he pull quickly past there because there's water line in that air vicinity and so on down the line wherever those yellow spots are. Uh, we crawled underneath the mobile home here. Uh, we're on the underside here now. Uh, it was the estimate hole here, estimator. Uh, so we can reach in here now and find out how much insulation is in there. It's basically about two inches, something like that. Uh, to patch his hole up now, what we're gonna do is basically just put that back like that. Take our uh, patching material. Uh, I believe the brand name of this here is Flex Bend. This patch here is a little bigger than what we probably normally use, but start it out.
Put it up by hand like that. Get a good decent seal on it. Then we take a stitch stapler and go around the outside of it. And you got yourself a patch. Uh, this patching material works really well for smaller holes. Uh, if you have anything bigger, you want to use like Tyvek or a building material uh, and then use, use a caulk. Uh, we use that daimonic caulk again uh, to patch, make sure that it's going to stay up and then also uh, hit it with the stitch staples again. Okay, what he's doing here is the Scott. What he's doing is he's going to start insulating the floor on this. Uh, we just got done patching that belly inside there. Now he's showing uh, we have no water lines in this section. Uh, so he'll be able to fill that pretty much all the way uh, full or, you know, not dense pack it, but just fill it. You can get your machine set that you can almost move that, that uh, pipe constantly. Uh, and it's filling as it goes pretty, pretty steady. You want to make sure that your pipe reaches all the way to the other side because if it doesn't, uh, we've gone in there and actually there's been a, a spots where there's a voids. So you want to make sure to be able to get that pipe all the way across. We have different lengths of pipe. As we showed earlier, we got that black ABS pipe. That's a little longer than these here. These are aluminum. Uh, it's hard to get the aluminum anymore. Uh, pipe. Uh, like be all pipe trucking equipment they'll have some a lot of times but uh, it's nice it's light to handle again kind of watch how he's putting it in there he's going kind of slow he's not just ramming it in there uh, you got all kinds of duct work you got boots that are sticking up you know in areas where you got water lines or wires or something uh, you gotta gotta use care when you're when you're sticking that in there. If you can see how fast that's going through the hose and how fast he's able to uh, pull that pipe back, that's the settings you want. You want it to where it's almost plugging up, but yet you gotta kind of keep a constant move on it. So here we got the holes, the finished holes now. We use PL300. We'll demonstrate later with the, the floor, the joists run the long way. So we usually have the, the longer pipe. Now this is a 20, 22 foot pipe here. And then we go from each side of the mobile home and then uh, blow our fiberglass through there. this method we're uh, insulating the floor. Uh, now the joist on this one uh, runs the long way so you'll have to have a, uh, a longer pipe than normally if we go on the side method. Uh, this pipe here we're using is, uh, about a 26 foot pipe and uh, you have to go from each way and if it does it feel like it if it's not getting in the middle you're gonna have to go underneath there and and cut the uh, into the belly and then tube the rest to get the rest of it because uh, sometimes there's going to be blocking in there, there's going to be uh, wiring, there's going to be um, plumbing. A lot of times with your plumbing too, just feather this in is all we want to do. We don't want to pack the uh, fiberglass around the pipes because then uh, you're going to have a possibly freeze up on it. Um, and always check your belly underneath. Uh, make sure that everything's uh, sealed up good 
If not, you're going to have to crawl underneath there and uh, seal the belly up, uh, all the holes, uh, cracks in, in the belly. Again, ask the client if they've had any problems with freeze up in the winter time. Uh, kind of pinpoint where the freeze up has, if any. Uh, and what you want to do is on your ends, you want to pack the ends as tight as possible. Uh, we want to seal that up real tight and then feather the middle again, feather it in. Don't want to pack the, tight, uh, the middle too tight. And when you get on the very end, on these ends, you want to pack, try and pack that in as best you can. I know it's kind of hard to uh, maneuver with the pipe. Uh, this here, now here we have a lot of room to uh, work with. Uh, a lot of times you see you have your, there's a cement block here, you have trees, shrubs, there's a, buildings or whatever, so then you have to uh, go with a smaller tube, uh, which makes it a little bit harder. And then you would have to go in underneath and finish insulating under uh, that, that method. Uh, when we get done, we plug our holes with uh, wood plugs and then we put our, uh, make sure our skirting's up, sealed up good. We, then we put our frame uh, back on uh, our skirting. And uh, if there's any shavings or whatnot, make sure that's all cleaned up for the client. Everything's put away. Well, that's it for another episode of WX TV and our mobile home series installment on belly insulation. If you want more, be sure to check out our episodes on both attic insulation and wall insulation. And thanks for watching. WX TV. Your online source for weatherization information, techniques, and expert advice.